is no human being that can't look back with regret. There is no human being who doesn't hurt another human being. But grace forgives you. Yesterday is forgiven. Come into today. I don't think I decided to go into ministry. I think ministry decided to come into me. Of course, as I matured, as I became wiser, I came to understand you can't change anything from the outside. You have to get on the inside, and there the change can come. After 10 years in the Air Force, I got on the inside for what had gotten on the inside of me. In 1977, I came to First DME Church, where I spent 27 years we grew from 250 members to 18,000 members. When we look at the civil unrest of 1992, we had to ask, was the church in place? It was a testing point for our city, our county, our state, our nation. But I thought it was a testing point of our faith-based system for our intent was to keep the peace, but then peace had gone to pieces. I was somewhat outside and shown the fires on the horizon, the fires in the neighborhood. Therefore, we had to shift gears. We called the fire department and we asked, would you please come and help us with the fires? They said, we will come, but you must protect us. We said, we will definitely do that. We stayed open 24 hours a day for some six months. As we look 20 years later, there are pluses that grew out of the ashes, and there remain some minuses that are yet to be converted into pluses. It's how God's story is acted out through you and me. In 2004, I was invited to come on board this campus. The Center for Religion and Civic Culture was founded by Dr. Don Miller, who continues to be its executive director. I suppose Dr. Miller wanted to put the school on legs. Who will go for us? to take it to the community. It was the birthplace of the fine center that they were kind enough to name after me, the Cecil Murray Center for Community Engagement. We have now some 300 graduates. The bulk of them came in on our startup program, which we call Passing the Mantle, where pastors from the prior generation empowered up and coming pastors. It is not the wish of this university to give a fish. It is not even to teach how to fish, but it is to help to own the pond because that is where independence and interdependence comes in. And the challenge remains today if I can help somebody as I travel along, then my living has not been in vain.